Okay, Gemini, this is going to be a general reading for you guys for this upcoming week. And I'm going to start off with my Chinese fortune cookie oracle here. Okay, for Gemini. Burnout. Okay. Let's see. So it says... Your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. So check in with your doctor, dentist, and a health professional, and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Okay. All right, and I'm going to use this deck this week. Um, so, for Gemini, okay, for this upcoming week, And uh, if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing, I would appreciate it. And at the end, if you liked it, if you want to give it a like, that, that would be cool. And uh, some of you may know, especially if you watch my channel, that every sign has a power color. And yours is yellow. And burnout, your card here, it does show here that you need breast so um, it's cool how the oracle cards always go with the tarot cards somehow it just they just always seem to work together at least they do when I do the readings <laughs> but okay <laughs> and you got a lot of yellow here and that's your color Okay. So there are fire signs, earth signs, and air signs here. Also, oh yeah, I said earth. Okay, so the signs that stand out here are... Aries and Virgo. I'm just looking at the cards here for a second. Okay, so you have a couple threes here. And the number three is about love and uh, good fortune and celebrating and groups. Also wisdom. Okay, so you start off here with the hermit. So with the hermit, this is this is about looks like you might be doing right now some self discovery or maybe maybe you're in solitude or maybe you just stay home a lot type and you're discovering this the inner wisdom that you have and some of you again and this you have a couple cards here this one and this one the four swords they both indicate that either you need a break or you're taking a break so maybe you're just a little like this is a little burned out maybe just taking a break this can also uh, indicate a wise mentor which I believe you guys get every single week so, so it speaks of a wise mentor or you know, teacher type or something, but, but it can also be a spiritual study or becoming more spiritual. But it does say that um, there's no true love with a partner unless you love yourself first. So with the self-discovery that you might be doing, maybe that's part of 
why you're doing self-discovery. And if you're not, maybe you should. Is the thing, is it this advising? It also says that to, you should try to become more independent and make your own way. Okay, next here is the Seven of Wands. So with that, that says to stand up for your beliefs. You may, I don't know if you've been having to defend yourself or maybe there's been challenges, but just hold your ground with integrity and have confidence. It also says to be selective in love. Next here is the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a card of good fortune. It can be an exciting career opportunity, maybe a lucrative contract. For others, it can be a new home or vehicle. But it also says, it says to be grateful for things also that you usually take for granted. It's also a promise that a better way of life is possible. And for others of you, it can also it can be a windfall of abundance. That's only for a few of you. But um yeah. Next you have the three of pentacles. So this card is being recognized for your talents or work. So maybe that's why there's an ex exciting career opportunity right before it is because you you know you're going to be recognized for your talents looks like you you're also going to be paid well for your craft and it shows that you have an excellent reputation and if you don't know looks like you are going to it does show that you have confidence in your work and for some it might even be collaborations next here you have the three of wands so this shows successful first steps. So it looks like you have initial success on something. It does say to keep on planning, keep moving forward. So it also says that now is the time to build strategies and let others employ them. So this card can also indicate foreign lands so it could mean that you know maybe I don't know for work if for foreign lands for work or if this is somebody that it looks like the more so for work something about foreign lands maybe you'll meet somebody from a foreign land or maybe for work you'll have to go to a foreign land but um that's for some of just a, a few of you there next here is the page of Pentacles so there's a lot of pentacles here. So a lot of earth here, which I mentioned Virgo earlier is an earth sign. Other earth signs, Capricorn and Taurus. So with the page of pentacles here, that is another card saying it's, well, not another, but it's good news about your career or money. It can be promotions, scholarships, um, it could be a student pursuing a new course of study. But uh, it is looks like looks like you're reliable and dependable. And that's why you're going to be recognized by for your hard work and be paid well for what you do. So this is almost like a um, career or work type of financial reading for you guys this week. So maybe with all the hard work, maybe you've been training hard or studying new things or whatever it is here. That's why next is the Four of Swords showing that you might be a little mentally exhausted. You might need to recharge your batteries. Like I said, with the Hermit over here kind of doing some self-discovery and taking a break. Just uh, take some time to regroup. Now for some of, for other of you, this can represent also, you know, taking that time and going on vacation. But it just shows that you need to have you need a little break. Or you're taking a break. Next here is 
the emperor. So with the emperor, the emperor is about structure and discipline and power, leadership and stability and achievements. It does say that energies are favorable for a stable path. And also he doesn't doubt his authority. So just don't doubt yourself. I don't know if this mental exhaustion, if it's worry or if it's just you're just tired and need a break or like I said, if you're mentally exhausted, I hope you're not doubting yourself over things. If you are, try to look at things a different way. And like I said, this is all great here. Great cards for you. Next here is the Eight of Wands. So, the Eight of Wands can be a sudden burst of activity or excitement. But um, it can also be rapid changes. It also can be um, like becoming successful quickly. And like I said, with all your other, about your, um, recognized for your talent or work, you could have fast success. And it can also mean travel. So I mentioned travel a couple times here. So some of you are going to travel, it looks like. This can also indicate, like, it, sometimes when you have so much going on, it can be a little stress. So not necessarily bad stress, but it can show that it might could be a little bit of stress for too much going on. Maybe that's why you're mentally exhausted, too. All right, you guys, so at the end, I usually pull an extra tarot card, but I'm going to pull, use my Dragon Oracle. Um, if you notice the thumbnail with Bruce Lee, his nickname was the Little Dragon, so I'm going, yes, that's my uncle, but um, I'm going to use the Dragon Oracle because of that. Okay. Earth and Fire Dragon. Again, there's that Earth. On earth okay works with you to clear the fifth dimensional ley lines it it is time for service when you give you receive okay all right guys so again if you like this if you want to give it a like that would be cool and uh if you wouldn't mind subscribing i would really appreciate that all right you guys thanks a lot